cross disciplinary pro project uh, we are the we being the computer science students are trying to address the problems which mechanical engineering students face while solving their computational fluid dynamics problems so actually they use a c++ based open form software which is a open source software and it contains a rich set of numerical solvers okay uh, foam stands for field operations and manipulators so actually uh, what open foam is based on c++ and for a newbie like a very very newbie person in the field of mechanical engineering it is not the best way to start from c++ apis it might get tough if they don't have the proper c++ background it might get tough for them to use open foam so python flu addresses that problem it provides an easy interactive python interface to open foam c++ ref reference apis so actually that was the our main aim for the project main motivation of the project actually python flu was built 5 years ago and it was built according to open foam 2.1.1 version and now the open foam has grown drastically from from, from 2.1.1 to 4.1 so we are trying to revive this python flu package to the current version of open foam so open foam uh, python flu needs two package is installed before we install the python flu it is one is conflu which is which is a common configuration package if we run that package we can be sure it installs the, all the dependencies which are required by python flu in the system and the second the manage flu uh, what happens is the biggest limitation of open foam c++ object solvers are if any one of the uh, sibling object solver object dies unexpectedly then the whole sol solver crashes and what happens is many a times the simulations is uh, running for 6 or 7 hours so if that rare rare incidents happen incident happens then the whole simulation is gone for nothing so manage flu provides a c++ layer of managed open form objects so we need these two things conflu and manage flu for before installing python flu so why we cannot allow the null pointers the null solvers is because in python we cannot uh, we cannot afford to have the those c++ null pointers it can it can be deadly nightmare it can cause any system problem so that manage flu is required so while manage flu was built uh, it was built according to keeping in mind the structure of open form 2.1.1 and ubuntu file structure of 12.04 since then the ubuntu file structure has changed drastically also the open form has changed some of the header files some of the source files drastically some are totally removed some of them are merged into the other source files some of them are renamed some of them are relocated so we try to do that thing uh, that making this python flu compatible but the main problem we encountered was this is the structure for open form 2.1.1 there is a particular reference uh, header file called porouszone.h and mrfzone.h which has some specific uh, fluid dynamics related task which we we don't know yet because we have been we have we are given a chance to abstract this project but the same mrfzones.h does not exist in open form 4.1 and this is just one example so we tried to make the new mrf zone.h in open form 4.1 to make it work uh, so we tried to take that mrf zone.h in current open form and make it work with python flu but what ha what has happened is since last 5 years the constructor for mrf zone object has changed from one parameter constructor to four parameter constructors and since we are computer science students and we don't have enough background in fluid dynamics we don't know what to do about those three uninitialized parameters so that was the main reason that our project was got blocked uh, multiple referenced fields so we we just know the main abstract thing we don't know the exact details and our pro our mentor professor prabhu also said that you don't need to go into details because this this is not going to help us anyway we have to just Uh, we are just given requirements and we have to make the software so we instead we try to do this in foam extend 3.2 so foam extend is a family based on open foam 2 series so we thought that 
since this uh, this changes were untra untraceable, we thought that foam extent 3.2 might be a better way uh, instead of open foam 4.1. But in the foam extent 3.2, you can see that these files are present. But again, that one parameter constructor is changed to two parameter constructors. So we went through all the logs, 3,000 to 4,000 lines of log while we compile this open foam. It takes six to seven hours of compiling. Plus, uh, this managed flow also takes one to two hours of compiling. We, our mentor, sat, sat and went through whole logs, but we could not find any proper reason. So our project got blocked there uh, after five to six weeks. So uh, immediately, we changed our project to automated parameter variation in any CFD system, computational fluid dynamic system, and real-time plotting for those systems, the parameter plotting for open foam. So in okay, so open foam is two point something. No, open foam was two point something five five years ago. Correct. But new thing is of two point something or four point. Four point something. So you are trying to extend now open foam four point something. Yeah. And you drop the Python code. No, no, no. We the open foam four point one is like working ex correctly. Uh, because we cannot. Correct. Yeah. You you are now using the pure C plus plus version of open form and you extend. No no no. Actually, there is an another layer of Python package called PyFoam, which does many great things like changing the dictionary files. The so all the CFD system. So Python flow which works with two point one. Yeah. Is now replaced by this PyFoam. No. Py no. The Python flu was Python APIs, but PyFoam is just a container for OpenFoam. It just runs the OpenFoam solvers as its sub-processes. It does not care about how is it going to handle those C++ APIs. It's, it's just going to run them as a sub-process. So PyFoam does great, great things for us. It plots the data real time. The, there is a thing called residual in fluid dynamics, computational fluid dynamics. As we are using the numerical solvers, we are committing crime the numerical crimes like uh, we are we are bound to have some particular number of digits to represent as our mentis and uh, in floating point numbers we cannot we don't have the big size to store the exact number so we are committing numerical crimes so it is bound to produce errors so those er due, due to those errors the solver might sometime diverge rather than converging to a single solution it may diverge so those results are very important while the while one student is performing the simulation. So on the fly, PyFoam allows us to plot those results. So what we have done is, uh, also there is a thing called, uh, uh, there are some, some parameters like viscosity, relative tolerance. If you change those parameters, the system, the system might get some, in some way optimized. So we need to change those parameters for a given range of value and save those plots and try to analyze them that for which value of parameter the system is going to be optimized. So we have tried to automate this thing rather than uh, any CFD student changing those dictionary files. The, the CFD dictionary files are just a file representation of the system parameters, initial values and the other things. We have tried to automate the changing parameters. Also, we have tried to save those plots and put them in a tech file directly. No, no, optimization in the sense for a given parameter, if no, 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 in any physical system uh, for some, some on some contour for a particular value of parameter, the system might behave optimally. So we are to guess the, guess that range and in that range that we have guessed, no, 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 the, the CFD student will give that as input and will save the plots append them in a tech file and generate the automated report for them. So that's the work we have done in last week. Uh, also, there, ca there is a working uh, demo for that. Our so uh, we also support real time dictionary changes. See, in the, the parameters are stored in nested dictionary format. So we have stored them as a graph in where each internal node is a nested dictionary and we have tried to search that if the parameter exists in a graph or not. And we have tried, we have used the depth first search algorithm for that and changed its value. 
and this is our live demo i think is okay if you don't show the demo okay okay in your particular case is okay i'll tell you why none of us understand anything about fluids okay even so whatever me. you show is going to be going to be a bouncer okay and i completely believe you you are the first person who does not need a presentation okay may you can you are yeah. you are fit to be a prof okay you are sat there without looking anywhere you went on blabbering 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 <laughs> and you talk logically okay thank you sir i have done a course in fluid dynamics yeah yeah I have also done fluid dynamics. I have forgotten everything about it. So there is a ICO foam. There is a solver called ICO foam for which stands for incompressible. This is our script pi foam underscore automated. Uh, we are changing the end time for the simulation from the two to three. So it will start the simulation. It will plot those things in real time. If the simulation is carried for a long time, for say for a two hours, then it will be plot real time. these graphs are saved in the tech file which i have just closed and i'll compile that that tech file the pdf will be generated which can be later used for analysis of the simulation and this is uh, the compilation of tech file and that was for end time simulation we can change the tolerance which we allow for numerical errors so in the next example i have changed the tolerance can you explain that command Yeah. Uh, which command? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. The first pyfoam underscore automated dot py is my script. Yeah. Which which uses pyfoam and some my some algorithms which help me to get those parameters and change those parameters while the simulation is doing. So this is the the first thing is my script. The second thing is the file. uh there may be some parameters like viscosity of the system yeah we changing it in c that c in that point yeah why you are changing because that's the need the front end to change no the mechanical will do all wrong no the for suppose the for viscosity from 2 to 3 uh, 2 to 3 in the interval of 0.1 you want to observe and for which viscosity the system behaves optimally then my script allows you to do that oh you are iterating yeah oh, okay. that's automation for parameter variation yeah but for yeah so that's uh, the second would be my the file's name which we which i want to which the parameter is located in when which i want to change the third thing would be the total path that it that this these are nested dictionaries so for a for that file in the solver dictionary there will be a key called p it would be in in itself a dictionary which ha will have the uh, parameter called tolerance i want the tolerance to be in 10 is to minus 5 to 5 into 10 is to minus 5 at the intervals of 10 is to minus 5 so i'll do that iteration on the go using the ico foam solver of open foam so if i in this case i have typed the wrong parameter because it is solver slash p slash uh, tolerance so it will give me the error and when i type the uh, correct path it will start the simulation so it's real time just the parameter changes the plots will come on the fly those are the iterations yeah the backgrounds are the logs which open foam generates for us to see what is the pressure value what is the uh, velocity value what are the current numbers and etc so that was our project the, in the future work there are some parsers which ca i can make for particular dictionary files also i can add uh, specific commands for some specific open foam solvers and i can make those report uh, very much interactive so that was our project any more questions if can you say very well so actually the parameters are located in a very nested dictionary the, uh, so i have made a graph like representation for where each internal node is a nested dictionary and leaf nodes are the single key value pair so for that i have generated all kinds of corner test cases to check whether a whether a full path exists or not suppose i have given system slash p slash some 
parameter name and if that path does not exist then i'll produce the false error that the parameter does not exist so i have tried to cover the whole def for search test cases for that thank you